Trolls. I love trolls. This box has a troll in. Um, ha, the reason I'm showing this is because I have loads of trolls already. I think I have Chieftain, two normal Mordor trolls, the Catapult troll, so many cave trolls. Um, don't need any more trolls, but I love them. But then this thing come along, this box set here come along. So, uh, and it's got a troll in. Um, so what I thought, here it is, here's the sprue and the base. Uh, so we got this troll, so I thought oh, I'm going to put together a plastic troll. Um, and I've never, I don't have a plastic troll, so that's fairly unique, I guess. Uh, but I have metal trolls, so what I was thinking is put it together, but I'm not going to pick the normal sort of troll configuration. I'm going to go for the drama because I don't have a drama. I'm not definitely not going to go for an Eisen Dark Guard Guard Troll because that is just wrong. That just should not exist. Now I like making my own thing, my Middle Earth, my own thing. But there is no way an Eisen Gold Troll can exist. It's just it just seems silly. We would have read about it or heard about it. I mean, as I say, I like made up stuff. I like expanding the world, but it's got a fitting. In a logical way, and an Isengard troll just doesn't fit in logically. Um, they would have either been at Helm's Deep because you're assaulting a big castle, yeah, you can have trolls there, or when the Ents are attacking Isengard, you're going to use your trolls to defend it. We would have read about it in the book, so uh, they just can't exist in my mind. So that's out. So we're going to do a troll drama, and what I've got is um, I have three arms here now. The other trolls I have, I have two the same. I've tried to do a conversion on the helmet with, uh, which I don't know, I might even possibly do some, use one of the helmets. But anyway, you got bits here. And I'm thinking they've got, both got the same weapon, so I'm thinking of using one of these weapons, because I won't need them for the troll drummer. So I might do a quick hand swap on them. That might be cool. And also, for some reason, I think it's because at the time Games Workshop painted theirs flesh colour, but my trolls are sort of human flesh colour, which they're more grey in the uh, in the movies. Hold on, let me let me just go and get some. Yeah, so there. That's yeah. So if I look here, he's got less armour, but yeah, it's just sort of flesh colour. Uh, not really happy with that now. I look at him, but yeah. So I got the that's obviously the catapult troll. Got the sort of chieftainy type troll. Aragorn fights, got him. And I've got two the same here. And as you can see, I did try and do something different with the helmet here. One horn on this one, just to make him stand out. Although I actually think his horns, you know, he's missing. So I might replace that with the plastic one. So I can see that. I thought that was conversion, but it's been knocked off and lost in the ether of time. You can see it's just not, not here. missing but on this one I did actually convert his helmet to be different but the weapons are the same so I might do a weapon swap on I might put a torn back on him have him as standard I've tried to do you know, a bit of green stuff across his helmet here might leave that we we'll have a look from here but I'm definitely thinking of replacing this weapon with one of the sets but for the tone colour I mean my cave trolls are kind of happy with the tone but I don't think I think the movies on the Mordor trolls are slightly different to this anyway. So what I was thinking, I have the Hobbit trolls I'm quite pleased with. This kind of, it's fleshy. You can see I've painted it flesh underneath and then gone over it probably, is that Ratcliffe, Rawcliffe flesh? Uh, so I have it here, yeah this. I'm gonna go over this one, a calf flesh. Uh, so, I'm thinking I can see what it looks like dwarf flesh or whatever it's called now as a base and I've gone over it with Rekar flesh. I'm thinking that's probably what I'm going to do here. I'm going to experiment probably with this one and see that and then assemble the drummer. So yeah, that's what this vlog's going to be about. Trolls. Troll, 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 troll. I don't know what I'm doing now. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to get on, I think. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll probably 
have a play with some flesh and then assemble. once I've got done that and I'm happy with what I'm, how I'm going to paint them, come back and assemble that plastic troll. Okay, let's uh, build this plastic troll. Here it is built. And here he is. So what I'm going to do is undercoat him and begin painting. Well, I'll probably do some filling first. I want to get my arms in a different position to how they recommended. Do some filling around here, and it didn't go together too well. Here, Got a little bit of filling to do. I should have really used plastic glue, but I didn't have any. I used super glue, so it wasn't that good for a plastic glue for plastic. But anyway. That's it. Let's get that get that underway. Maybe troll uh, assembled. Got his base uh, raveled, um, and he's been his joints have been filled. Uh, I didn't have any green stuff, so I just used some of the fine white milli part, which has actually worked out better because I could wet it. I don't know if you can see here on this really seam here, I could wet it and then just get it in the joint of having a without having to have a big long lump there so I actually might give up on green stuff for such things and use fine milli putt in the future for all my sealing and filling endeavours you see it's even just running down the side of his body joint here which is just giving it a nice little, little feel so uh, yeah I'm going to see how that paints up but also I have ripped the hand off one of my other trolls and given him one of the plastic clubs just to make him different this is the one I did my own helmet on years ago so yeah and all I want to do now is paint them and I'm thinking of just it's too too human fleshy for me too Caucasian so I'm gonna do something with the skin um, later on so that's the progress what I shall do now is undercoat this bad boy in readiness games getting, getting blacked up is that PC don't know so I've just taken his hand off put one of the plastic ones on and I've uh, dry brushed him in whatever that colour was that I can never remember rat claw flesh or something of that effect and yeah I'm really pleased with that shade that shade of flesh it seems to be focusing in on these ones over here I try and do a direct comparison to the old one which is a bit oh excellent on this on the camera it's not really showing much difference but this one here is really orangey so yeah I'm just really happy with how that's come out so that's these two done 
Uh, well, actually not these two done, sorry. Um, I'm going to have to do this one. But, got the drummer assembled now and painted. Taking care to put, make it dark in the middle where he's been wearing it thinner, where he's been beating it. I really don't want to focus in today, does it? So yeah, that's my drummer. Little drummer boy done. So next stage is just to add the flesh colour to all these other three here. So all uniform, which I'm going to do now. I think I've pretty much finished the trolls now. Um, got them, got the skin tone how I like it. I think just wasn't very happy with how they looked before. This sort of pinky skin tone. So I got this more grey one. Um, well, why about doing it on film? But as I was dry brushing this, his arm come off, and apparently I didn't pin things back uh, back then. <laughs> so I'll probably pin this and do a little repair job. But for the most part, I'm happy. I'm happy with how they look. So yeah, I think that's a. Uh, you know, I don't think you're ever going to be finished painting. There's always stuff to redo as you get best for and decide on colour. So yeah, it's been it's been a fun project with trolls. Got. A, because that plastic one's given me more options for the ones I do have, so yeah. Might actually get another plastic one and make up to be metallic. But yeah. Yeah, that's it for this vlog, I think. Uh, don't know what I'm going to be doing next. Probably rebasing some stuff, I should imagine. Probably, I don't know, I might do rebasing some Moria and uh, dwarfs. Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button and leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Stick with the channel for many great videos to come.